A capacitor is a device that stores electrical energy by virtue of separated charges. A capacitor consists of two conducting layers, metal plates, separated by an insulator. And when a voltage is applied, we can move electrical charge from one plate to the other and thereby store electrical energy. Sometimes a capacitor in the lab will look kind of like this. It'll be a cylinder with two terminals at the top, one terminal connected to each metal plate. The capacitance is a measure of a capacitor's ability to store charge or energy. The capacitance depends on two factors. The geometry of the capacitor, namely the surface area of these metal plates, the separation distance between the metal plates, and the capacitance also depends on what the insulating material is. Sometimes the insulating material is referred to as the dielectric different dielectrics will give different values of capacitance. So the insulator is also termed the dielectric. Here are some values of the dielectric constant which is symbolized by lowercase Greek K which is kappa. The dielectric constant for air is very nearly that of empty space. Typically for plastic or glass or rubber the dielectric constant has a value between about 2 and 7. And we want to make sure that we know that the dielectric constant for air is about 1. So one equation for capacitance looks like this, where capacitance is measured in farads, which is symbolized by capital F. Epsilon naught is a constant. I believe it's called the permittivity of free space, but who cares? It simply has this value right here and these units. A is the area of one of the metal plates in square meters and D is the separation between the conducting layers in meters. Capacitance can be measured another way. A potential difference, delta V, applied to the plates causes one plate to get a charge of positive Q and one plate to get a charge of negative Q. So here we have two schematic diagrams of two different circuits. Everything is the same about these two circuits except in circuit A we have three batteries in our battery pack let's say and in circuit B we have two batteries. A battery is symbolized by a long line and a short line. So circuit A has three batteries, circuit B has two batteries. The voltage difference that is applied in circuit A is larger than the voltage difference that's applied in circuit B. There's a certain amount of charge that is moved from one plate to the other in circuit A. There's a smaller amount of charge moved in circuit B. Of course circuit B having fewer batteries can't you might think push as hard so less charge will be moved. Well it turns out that the ratio of the charge that's moved to the voltage that moves that charge is a constant and that ratio we call the capacitance. So there's another equation for capacitance. The capacitance of that capacitor is fixed and what I like to say is the capacitance of a capacitor is what it is. A capacitor stores electrical energy when a voltage difference causes charge to move from one plate to the other through the circuit. One plate now has more than the normal amount of charge. The other plate has less than the normal amount. The capacitance of a capacitor depends on the geometry and materials of its construction. While a given capacitor can store any number of amounts of energy due to various amounts of charge being transferred between plates, its capacitance is fixed.